and the Bulls go through their pregame routine. Coming to you live on 2K Sports, this is the NBA. Hi, everyone. Kevin Harlan alongside my broadcast partner, Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. It's great to have you with us. We've got the Washington Wizards and the Chicago Bulls. And now Washington's starting group. They've got the Magician. Rubber is out there with Davis. Then it's Magician. And it's Howard in at the five spot. And for Chicago, Dennis Rodman is out there with Longley. And it's Michael Jordan. Then there's Pippen. And it's Harper in at point guard. off the tip. Weber with it. Here's Magician. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that one. Short stroke. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. Pippen kicks to Jordan. And good on the basket. Book it. Jordan's got the game going with his first points of the game for the Bulls. Well, now we go to Doris Burke, who spoke with Randy Witt. Doris? Well, guys, in terms of their focus coming into this one, he said he's expecting their defense, especially on the interior, to be vital. He said we can protect the rim with our shot clock. Of course, we prefer to keep them outside the paint, but that capability to deny finishes certainly could come in handy tonight. Kevin, we'll see if he's right. Thanks for the report, Doris. Steve, Clark, your thoughts on their defensive focus here? Well, it's the right strategy, Kevin, because you have to play to your strengths as a team. You can't get away from who you are. And that's right, Steve. Their strength is certainly what they do defensively. They can rattle folks. Here's Magician. Kicks it to Howard. And he drops it in from the low post. Can't pass up that kind of look. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Now here's Jordan, and there's the feed to Pippen. Rodman with a screen on Weber. Here's Jordan, gets it to go. Jordan's got his second bucket of the night. Nice teamwork there, the pick, freeing up his teammate. Just about two minutes into the first quarter. Pass to Davis. Working on Rodney. Poked away. It's stolen by Rodman. Jumps up. And it's Jordan slamming it down. Now we're cooking with gas, partner. My goodness. A breathtaking display of aerial supremacy, no doubt. It's almost unfair, guys. I mean, when you can get up that high, Apple that's crazy. Bulls kicking their first free throw of the game right now. Jordan, no good on the free throw. And here are the Wizards now, trailing by four. Here's Magician, guarded by Pippen. Davis, the pass to Howard. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. This is his first free throw of the game. And he was up over the 80% mark from the free throw line last year. I'm sure he was pretty happy with those numbers. Guys, I thought he got into a groove last year at the charity stripe, and I thought he maintained it deep into the season as well. First free throw is good. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Chicago. So Howard nails both of them. You know, he's an excellent free throw shooter, Kevin, especially for a big fella. Jordan kicks to Harper. Back to Jordan. Stolen. Here's the break. Here's Cheney. Oh, oh, what a throwdown. Yeah. Yeah. Man. 
ammonia strong finish right there, partner. <laughs> you hear me? That was ammonia strong. Yeah, ripped it down with two hands. That's about as high percentage as you can get. Special thanks to Sprite for that sweet replay. And the Bulls with possession. Jordan dishes to Kukoc. Harper. Outside Pippen. Shoots over Weber. And it's Pippen missing. So it's Washington now. Inside. That drops. Chicago trailing here. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Feeds it to Jordan. Back to Kukoc. Jordan up top. Here's Rodman. And Davis pulls it down. Here's Magician. He's guarded by Harper. Passes it to Howard. Here's Magician. Weber with a screen on Harper. Lock at six. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Here. Wennington, he's checked in for Rodman. The kid comes in for Scotty Pippen. Brown, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Wallace is checked in for Jawan Howard. ABC comes in for Davis. ABC's checked in for Weber. And Money subbed in for the Magician. Wallace misses. And here's Kerr. There's a minute 47 left in the first quarter. Brown. Back to Kerr. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Here's Kukoc. A terrific shot on the turnaround. Here's Whitman. A minute 20 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Magician. Tries from 16. Here's Wallace. Hammers it home. How's that for an encore after the offensive board? That's the only way he knows how to do it. Monster stuff. Oh, he makes life miserable down around the paint for anybody who's trying to box him out. Here's Brown after the basket by Washington. Here's the pass to Kerr. With the lead pass. Rebound by Wallace. That's really too easy a chance to miss, guys. He needs to be more aggressive and focused on his finishes. Whitney against Kirk. Here's Magician. Let's it go from the wing. It's blocked. Yeah, their whole defense is better just with him being out there. With Kevin, his ability to know exactly what's going on, to communicate, to be in the right position. And he's a great example for his teammates to follow. And you know what? He's a guy who will put some wood on you now. He'll throw his weight around. Bodying him up play after play can really wear you down. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Luke Longley's checked in for Winnington. Rodman comes in for Tony Kukoc. Scotty Pippen's checked in for the kid. And it's Jordan in for Brown. They are setting the tone here early with their work on the boards. Yeah, only a moderate advantage here, a slight one, but as the game wears on, it's one they'll definitely look to build on. He tries for three. Got it off in time, but it's no good. One quarter in the books, and it's... Second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Wizards, guys. So difficult to get a shot off against this defense. They are really playing hard. Yeah, they're playing hard, and they pride themselves on making it tough for their opponents. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Michael so Jordan. for Chicago right now, Kerr out there with Michael Jordan. Then there's Pippen. Then it's Tony Kukoc, and it's Rodman in at the center. To the middle. Gets it to go. Kerr with it. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Outside Jordan. Back to Kerr. Pippen. 
over Murray. And a great job by the D contesting that shot and forcing the miss. Here's Magician. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Takes it up. Drops in the layup for two. Now it's a four-point Wizards lead. They are in attack mode right now. That's ten straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I'd keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. If they don't offer resistance, take everything you can get in there. Pippen misses. That's kind of a shocker. The defense was there, but it wasn't right in his face. Kind of out of character for him to miss so and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second quarter. Well, the lead being maintained will not be a problem if they keep shooting the way they have so far. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. He needs to get them back into a flow offensively. Things have gotten stagnant for them. And they're starting to force some of these shots. And that can snowball on you. One guy takes a bad shot, then another guy does, and then you're missing back-to-back-to-back -back -back shots, and all of a sudden, you have no rhythm, and you're self-inflicting wounds. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Luke Longley's checked in for Rodman. Wennington comes in for Tony Kukoc. The kid is checked in for Scotty Pippen. And it's Harper in for Michael Jordan. They continue to barrel their way inside. And when's the defense going to adjust? Well, I'm asking the same question myself, partner. I mean, that's eight points out of their last ten coming inside. The dish to Davis. Here's Shorty. There's a good screen. Five on the clock. Wizards need to get a shot off here. Whoa. Chicago grabs the miss. He's one guy the defense is not afraid to leave open from that range, and for obvious reasons. Passes it to Wennington. He passes to Kerr. Bulls moving the ball around. Here's the kid. He's covered by Whitney. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. Now just a two-point Wizards lead. Boy, he did a nice job losing his man on a good pick and then just buried the jumper. That is um, basketball 101 right there, Kevin. So timeout call here for the first for Washington. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Dennis Rodman, he's checked in for Longley. Pippen comes in for the kid. Michael Jordan is checked in for Ron Harper. And it's Brown in for Steve Kerr. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Juan Howard's checked in for Wallace. Magician comes in for Davis. ABC's checked in for ABC. And ABC's subbed in for Shorty. The Wizards with another miss. And here are the Bulls now. Trailing by two. The drive by Jordan. It's good. This game is all even. Jordan's got four points in the quarter. You know, he got one step ahead of the defense on that one. Excellent job. And there's the pass to Whitney. There's a screen. Makes the lead pass. Howard's shot is good. Howard's got six. I'm sure they'd like to get more shots like that one. And here is Brown. Outside Jordan. Backing him down. There's the bucket. Good. 12 points for him. Well, he really makes things happen offensively for this club. And as a defender, when you go against him, you have to get help defensively. So it's important for your defense to really communicate with him out on the floor. And let me take this time to also mention his scoring ability in the post. I mean, his technique on the low block is picture perfect. The footwork is exquisite. Everything else about it is impeccable, too. He's looking to have a big game. He did a solid job in the first, but he's building on that now here in the second. And here is Whitney looking for his first bucket of the game. Here's Magician. Now Murray over Pippen. Murray, good. Now the Bulls with it. 
outside Jordan. Back to Rodman. There's the pick. He feeds it to Pippen. And the Bulls tack on two more. Boy, what a significant turnaround here in the second quarter after only making 40% from the field in the first. Here's Murray. He passes to Whit. Just five to shoot. With one on the clock. Good. Money's got his first basket of the night. It's been a little too easy for them inside, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so, Steve. I mean, they've really dictated the action in the paint. Um, that's been their focus, and the defense hasn't mounted much resistance at all. Passes it to Wennington. Uh, shot no good. Now Whitney. He dishes it to Howard. To the paint. Here's Cheney, and the layup Cheney. falls. Magician's got his third basket of the night right there. Jordan with it. Good! That builds a little momentum going into the next quarter. Yeah, you know, you definitely have to make sure you take advantage of that last possession. You don't want to squander that. And that'll do it for the first half. Game time. And we'll return shortly. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. Well, why eat at the drive-thru when you can sit down at the buffet and have all you can eat, Clark? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you've been listening, partner. I like that. Uh, that's exactly what you need to do. Take advantage of what's available. So the Wizards <laughs> five right now. Jawan Howard is out there with Davis. Then it's Magician. Then it's Magician. And it's Weber in at the three. Here's Magician. Back to Weber. Shoots over Pippen. Weber. And the Wizards getting another bucket right there. Three straight buckets in the paint. They're making it look effortless. Well, speaking of effortless, you'd like to see a little more out of the defense. Huh? How about trying, guys? No good. Now Washington takes it the other way. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Well, that was not a smart play there. That's a wild shot. They can get something better. No, that's not smart basketball. He should have passed that shot up. And no defender was around him to influence that shot. It didn't hurt them there, but, you know, they can't make that mistake twice. Backing down is Weber. Puts it up from 15. Weber. Good. Weber's got four points in the quarter. Chicago trailing here. Outside Harper. Dishes it to Jordan. Picked him clean. Here's Magician. Rodman covering. Here's Magician. Davis with a screen on Rodman to the inside and that Davis. one's good by Davis and it's a four point Wizards lead again they attack the hoop from the lane and it's been really good to them yeah they're getting whatever they want down there that's four of their last five buckets coming in the paint area here's Pippen and the officials call over the back a little too aggressive there well he was boxed out but when that happens you know you at some point, you have to just turn and get back defensively. That time, he went right over the top. Yeah, but you go straight on the top of another player's back, that's going to be a foul call every time. And the Bulls making a change here. Two coaches checked in, and a switcher also for Washington. Murray's checked in. Davis with a screen on Jordan. Here's Magician. The Wizards working the ball around now. Hacking down is Weber. Pulls it from the elbow. And again, the Wizards score. Well, sometimes, guys, you can forget he's out there, and all of a sudden, bang, he'll string together three or four shots in a row and just take over the game. And you can't talk about him without mentioning his great passing ability. Not just the right pass, not just perfect placement, but excellent timing to spring his guys for the best possible look. Wizards leading by four. 
and stolen by Jordan. And here is Harper over Davis. Harper, no good. Solid advantage in the rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in a close game, every little advantage you can use helps, and they're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. Here's Howard. Oh. Tony Kukoc comes up with the rebound. Chicago with the ball. That is good. Wow. Harper's got four this quarter. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. All right, man, let's get him! 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 Let's get the kid comes in for Scotty Biffin, and Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Walls is checked in for Jawan Howard. ABC comes in for Davis. Magicians checked in for Weber. And it's Shorty in for the Magician. Six to shoot. Now Murray. And stolen by Jordan. And even three on three break to tie. The shot goes down and gets this game back to even. Jordan's got 18 points. And it's his poise in the offensive end that impresses me most. This guy is unflappable. Here's Murray. A minute 42 left in the third quarter. He kicks to Wallace. The shot is off. Now Kerr. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Kicks to Jordan. For the lead. That's good. Michael Jordan. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked bad. Boy, he's been good offensively tonight. I really like what I've seen. Here's Shorty. Odman with the block. And uh, 101 left in the third quarter of the game. Out to Kukoc. The feed now to Jordan. Pass to Kukoc. Takes a three. Shots good. Tony Kukoc. And it's a five-point Bulls lead. Well, he can shoot the three. We know that. But I'm not sure the D does. I mean, they weren't anywhere near him on that possession. Washington calls timeout. Well, I, I felt like his defense was letting him down out there, guys. So he wanted to get a timeout to talk it over and try to tighten things up here. You know, a part of coaching, a lot of coaching, actually, is making sure that momentum never gets too far away from your team. That's a good timeout. Chicago making some changes. Pippen comes in for the kid. And it's Harper in for Michael Jordan. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Juwan Howard's checked in for Wallace. Davis comes in for ABC. Weber, he's checked in for ABC. And Magician subbed in for Shorty. Here's Magician, defended by Kerr. Here's Cheney to end the run. And Howard with the lay-in. Howard's got eight. Well, not only does he excel at getting those offensive rebounds, but he's really good getting putbacks and layups off of those boards. Kirk kicks to Pippen. Shoots over Weber, and it's Chicago scoring again. Boy, both teams showing a lot of hustle, Clark. Steve, especially since halftime. I mean, they're flying around out there, giving up a lot of energy and putting together a pretty good show. Great touch on the 16-footer. Weber's got eight here in the quarter. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up, and we're going to send it over to Doris Burke for the Sprite Uncontainable Game segment, of course. And, Kevin, for that great stretch the Bulls put together, they get the Uncontainable Game Award. Something must have been said about defense at halftime because they came out and locked things up in the third quarter. A great effort on D, and it has them sitting pretty here in the fourth. Thanks, Doris. And guys, when you can put together that sort of streak that builds the momentum in a big way for your team, it's something. 
Always, Kevin. I mean, it's impossible for a stretch like that not to influence the outcome of a game. You know, when you're on the wrong side of a run like that, there's not a whole lot you can do. We'll see soon enough if that's indeed what makes the difference today. Dennis Rodman is out there with Pippen. Then it's Long. Then there's Harper. And it's Jordan in at the two-guard spot. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Back to Weber over Longley. Now Murray to take the lead. And that misses. That would have put him up. And they forced the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. And that is good. Michael Jordan. 22 points for Jordan. Boy, what a great job of getting into the teeth of the defense and scoring in the paint. And that's been their main point of attack. I mean, get the ball deep and try to score from in tight rather than rely on their outside shooting. I mean, that's a more consistent way to score. Take it inside. Here's Weber. Luke Longley grabs the miss. The Bulls leading by three. Here's Harper. Gives him the lead pass. Longley. And he lays it straight in. Made that one look easy, didn't they? Here's Magician. Howard with a screen on Harper. Free throw line jump shot. Rebounded by Rodman. Rodman's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. No good from Jordan. That's as high percentage as it gets for him. I mean, the defense really has to be mindful of not giving him that kind of space to operate. The Wizards with another miss. Here's Chicago. Second chance shot. Rebound, Washington. Howard's got six rebounds here tonight. Yeah, he's struggled with his shot this quarter, and he's got to find a groove somehow. And that's collected by Longley. Chicago leading. Now Harper. Longley guarded by Weber. Harper the pass to Pippen. Weber pulls it in. Weber's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Murray. Here's Howard. And that one's good. Howard's got four this quarter. Excellent job carving out space on the glass to make that look that possible. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for the Wizards. Chicago with the ball. Now here's Jordan. Harper kicks to Jordan. And that one's good. Michael Jordan. Jordan's got 24 points. I like it. He could have gone for the forced finish, but opted instead for kind of a nice smooth finger roll. I like it. Here's Magician. Down low, Howard. And that one's good. Only got a half step on his man, but that's all he needed when he ran off the pick. And as a result, able to finish the layup. That's nicely done. Rodman with a screen on Weber. Pippen dishes to Rodman. That falls. Nice speed that time from Scotty Pippen. Pippen's got three assists now in this one. Wizards trailed by four. Here's Magician. Howard. Guarded by Kukoc. Goes up. Howard. Good. Howard. Howard's got 11 points here in just the second half. And he's been exactly what they needed here in the fourth. Boy, he looks like a dangerous man. I mean, he's made all four of his shots this quarter so far. Here's Jordan again, Chicago. Well, none of the defenders were quick enough to step out and get a hand in his face on that jump shot. Big mistake there. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're down by four. 153 left in the fourth. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Yes, Kevin. Randy Whitman had support for his team over the break. nothing there we can always back it out and run our sets good advice Kevin. thank you doris luke longley's checked in for chicago howard with a screen on harper davis up top shot clock at six with the clock winding down it's hauled in by longer the bulls leading by four 
Harper with the ball. Feeds it to Pippen. And stolen by Howard. Jordan against Webb. Lifts up. And he throws it down with one hand. Boy, that kind of hustle you just love to see. And it gets his teammates fired up. Yeah, especially with a powerful slam to finish things off. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're ahead by two. 105 left to play here in the fourth. Jordan up top. Harper the pass to Jordan. Now the pass to Long. Offline with the baseline jump. That's a shot he's got to hit. And you don't get too many better looks in that ring. Here's Weber. No good. That would have tied it. Oh, he blew the easy two by profile. Trying to look good. That's a bad decision and poor execution. And here is Harper. Back to Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Over Strickland. Count. Well, Jordan has been fantastic. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They trail by four. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And this one is far from over. If they can get a quick score here and then, and then a fast foul as well. Tell you what, free throws become tougher with the game on the line, so a few missed ones here, and they could get right back in it. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Connects! Weber. And he has brought them to within two points. Came through there with a key basket. Yeah, that was huge, stepping up when it matters most. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now. Again and again, they're not in the penalty yet. Smart foul there. He's got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. Here's Harper, and that's an intentional foul. James Carter. Ron Two shots. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Those foul shots right there with the dagger in the heart. It's all but over, guys. 18 feet out. Yes! Boy, that was a big shot. And that one just flattened this crowd, Kevin. Yeah, nothing you can do as a fan after a shot like that. Just shake your head. Chicago calls timeout. They lead by two. Three seconds left here in the fourth quarter. of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now we present the Jordan player of the game, Michael Jordan.